Hello, <clears throat> Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is <clears throat> November 20th of 2019. It's uh, about 2 p.m. Uh, you may be able to hear aircraft overhead. We live near a U.S. military base. It's a reserve base used by Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marine Corps. Uh, and used, uh, you know, for, well, I don't know what kind of units they have there, except it's, you know, it's a reserve air base. Uh, used to be, uh, what was it? Oh, can't remember now. Sky King, Sky King. This is, uh, can't remember. Uh. Well, I received today, this was supposed to come yesterday, uh, the MX Master 3 Logitech mouse, and as I told you in the last video, whatever, the other mouse I had was excellent, but I just wanted this one, and, and I have received it, it charges uh, with a... Uh, USB-C cable. Um, well, I can show you better uh, this way. I'm not going to do a review of it because I just got... Well, anyway, it was supposed to come yesterday. And I tracked it. And, uh, you know, on their tracking thing. And, you know, they deliver up to like 9 p.m. So anyway, uh, it was like 8 p.m., and finally it popped up and said, you know, uh, now it's on the way to you, you know, because it it shows like five deliveries before, four, three, you know, you, okay, last, okay, now it's on the way. <clears throat> so it was like 8 p.m., and I thought, well, I'm finally going to get it. And actually, I was well, like waiting earlier, you know, for... I really wanted to take a nap, but I wanted to be able to make sure that in case they had trouble getting in the gate, because it's a, of course, I, you know, have the gate code there for them and stuff in the order and all that. But so anyway, I really I wanted a nap, but I hung around. So anyway, it's 8 p.m. And uh, um, this does scroll really nice. Um, so 8 p.m., and then, of course, I could see the location they were at. I, I should have checked to see what's at that location, because <laughs> then the, the, the driver's there, not very far away, maybe 10 minutes away. And I thought, okay, well, I'm going to get it. Uh, f over 45 minutes go by, and, you know, nothing. And, uh, I mean, it's... Then all of a sudden it just pops up. Uh, what to say? I forget. Uh, unaccountable delay or unsure. And if you, you know, you may get it tomorrow. And uh, if not, in two days you can get a refund or whatever. So, of course, I, uh, this morning at early in the morning, it was, you know, out for delivery. And I, you know, it's 2 p.m. now and I got it. I don't know, two or three hours ago. So it, it came early. Um, two, when I when I uh, got it, you know, it uses the Wi-Fi dongle or not Wi-Fi, but the U.S. whatever USB uh, thing that's in here. I put it in there. Be close, and. Uh, but I rebooted, put it in. I left my mouse hooked up, my wired mouse hooked up, because I thought what's going to happen is I'm going to boot up, and then it's going to want me to click on something, and that this wouldn't work, but I'd have the other one. But as soon as I did the reboot, uh, the uh, <clears throat> mouse, both of them, you know, were uh, operational. And this was operational right away. I mean, I there is a switch here at the back, you know, that at the top. 
I did I did flip it on, you know. But that's all I did. I didn't have to like link it or anything. And uh, I thought that software would be tied in with. Let me see where is the Logitech. Here it is. I thought it would be tied in here. I mean, the other, the other, their other mouse was, and uh, but now the other mouse is not, of course, showing up here. And this one isn't showing up there. It has its own software. But anyway, the two cameras are that I have, and uh, the keyboard is. By the way, I saw something with this software <clears throat> that says that. No, that was with uh, when I came over here, I believe. Yeah. Uh, let's see settings here. Here are the various uh, settings that I can uh, you know, do. Plus, you know, frame rate, uh, zoom in, zoom out, all types of stuff. Um, you know, video settings. Black and white, uh, all that type of stuff. But I, uh, I think it's advanced here. Yeah, I can change, you know, this. Of course, that's something that could be done before, of course. But um, and then for my uh, camera right there, I probably better be careful, or I'll screw up this. I don't want to. Uh... But oh, okay, that was it. It. Uh, set in there <clears throat> remember you can use your like your keyboard you know and and uh gaming keyboard and you can put things in for your uh, keys so that's pretty i mean i didn't think about that is and i and it might work when i was actually like doing video i might be able to without uh, locking up the live or the recording you know I might be able to hit G1, G, whatever I put in there and change the camera and change the settings and the zoom and do all types. That would be, uh, that would be pretty neat. But, uh, okay. The software for, let's see, let's go home. By the way, please, when you're purchasing something on Amazon, please, I hate to keep saying this, please use my link, which is down below for my Amazon homepage or whatever it is, or do jimhoward.me, jimhoward.me, and you'll go there, and especially with Christmas and with the holidays and everything coming up, you're probably going to be buying a bunch of stuff. So please try to remember to go there and use that. I will get a... Uh, a commission, not a big commission, but <clears throat> maybe enough that I can buy myself a Christmas gift. Um, what? Oh, I wanted to show you. Here's the software. Logitech options. And here it comes. And so this is the software for this. Uh, now, of course, I just got it a few hours ago, and it's working, as far as I can tell, excellent. I mean, this scroll is really great. And uh, features that it has, and every it's just really, so far, great. But uh, here is the software. Uh, pointer speed... Uh, Smooth scrolling, just see disabled. Smooth scrolling, huh? Disabled. I'm gonna enable that. Uh, don't know, but I'll have to see. <clears throat> Scroll wheel direction traditional. Thumb wheel direction default. Thumb wheel sensitivity. Smart shift. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Smart shift sensitivity. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, let's see. More. Well, see, this is mouse. 
This is point and scroll. This is flow. Okay. You can have up to three computers and use this one mouse with them. You can also have, I have two monitors, but you could also have a, another computer running right here. You know, one computer, one, the other. And two, this supports Windows, uh, Apple, and Linux. It doesn't say it supports my Chrome box, which I don't use. But if I have two Chrome boxes that I don't use, one brand new. Let's see, so we have mouse, uh, point and scroll, flow. Oh, okay, I did that. What didn't I do? Anyway, you get the idea. I said this wasn't going to be a review, and so it's not going to be a review. Um, I didn't show, what's really nice too, I didn't show that, but you can have this so like I'm using Chrome right now. So I can have functions that when I switch to Chrome, when I'm, you know, when I'm using, when I uh, Chrome pops up, certain key, I, these keys that if I, whatever I decide and it comes, they already program the ones in, but you can change them. So I could have something different that I could put in for, uh, for Chrome. Um, and they have, also, it's set up for Edge, Microsoft's Edge browser or whatever. I think the actual command buttons right now set up are the, identical for the two because uh, Microsoft's uh, Edge is based on the Chrome. They don't call it operating system. It's based on the whatever, they, whatever the code is in there. Um, so, the next thing is, and where is that? Uh, okay, I want to mention, okay, I want to mention this. I made a video uh, yesterday, why did President Trump go to Walter Reed Medical Center? And I... I said that the reason given, you know, wasn't accurate and that they lie about everything. And I discussed it. I think I discussed that for an hour. Well, not just that, but some other things. I said, uh, you know, wait for the next lie. Uh, So today, the White House now has out a uh, a new a new story. With they've changed it, but this is day two, or is it day three? But it's story two, and uh, so they've changed their story about why he went, you know, why he went to Walter Reed Medical Center. And so there'll be some other, you know, they, the president and this current White House is just incapable of ever telling the truth about anything. You know, what I said the other day in this video was that I, I was guessing that probably he had chest pain or something like that, and they wanted to check it out real quick. Uh, why don't, why didn't they just say that? You know, I guess because Trump has to be perfect. Uh, he's a stable genius and he has to have a, he wrote his doctor's thing before he was elected when people wanted a, uh, you know, uh, idea of his medical condition. He dictated to his doctor <laughs> and the doctor wrote it down and signed it and Trump either drove over, I mean, he had to drive over himself, or somebody ran over and picked it up at the doctor's office, and that's what he released. And the thing that Trump dictated was that, you know, 
the president or the, uh, you know, Donald Trump is in excellent condition. He'll be in the best condition of anybody that's ever been, ever been president of you. I mean, it's just pitiful. So anyway, story two is, you know, out. And there'll be story three and story four. And before long, it'll be something outrageous in the, you know. So I think I can, yeah. I'm, I have these tabs up here, so when I get done making this video, then I can see if I need to put a link below. So that's why I'm not deleting any of them. So I'll be probably jumping around to... Uh... Wanted to mention this to you, by the way. It's I mentioned it, I'm sure, once or twice in the past. Um, it's Nick's... No, that's mine. Next door. Um, what neck is the URL for it? nextdoor.com yeah I guess it is nextdoor.com it's a, a site that's set up so wherever you are if you go there and you sign up you know wherever whatever your address is zip code or whether they so you have a uh, the people around you in a very small area see it says here that for this you know thing there are 10,000 people using this or in this area I guess using it and there are 39 nearby neighborhoods apartment complexes or whatever so it works out pretty good you can uh, people will you know talk about uh, hey a new restaurant opened up or um, I heard gunshots, or I've lost power, did you lose power, or hey, I found a dog that has a red collar on, and blah, blah, and it's, it actually works out pretty neat. I actually, when I was in Miami, I believe it was, was, you know, signed in, and with that address, so I saw information, I didn't use it very much, but I saw information from that area, so it's pretty, uh, pretty good, it's nextdoor.com. Uh, really have learned uh, a lot uh, from it. Of course, a lot of people are posting things, you know, hey, uh, um, you know, where they get a disc, you know, hey, use this link and that type of, that type of stuff. But uh, anyway, I'm going to not tell you about, I mean, I already told you about it, so nextdoor.com and see what's going on in your neighborhood. The news today is uh, big. I have not been following, I mean, I've been, the news, you know, I check like the CNN website. I haven't been listening to the uh Impeachment proceedings, the committee meetings. Uh, but I've been, I do watch, you know, CNN headlines. And uh, some, you know, some big news uh, from the ambassador to. Was he in the was he in the ambassador? Well, he got involved. Was he in the ambassador to the Ukraine, or was he ambassador to some? I forget now, to someplace else. But he was asked to be with along with several others to be on in on this thing. Um, anyway, his testimony is today devastating. Not that it matters. Because, I mean, President Trump has already done things that he can easily be, you know, one of them would be enough. He can be impeached for and will be impeached. Now, like I've said before and others have said, 
right now the Republicans, you know, in the Senate uh, will not probably vote to remove him from office. And what I said a while back before this precision, precision, before this proceedings even started is that uh, the House will impeach him. It'll go to the Senate. And the Senate will, the Republicans will vote in a block. And then the, the Republicans will say, and Donald Trump will say, I was found totally innocent of all of the charges against me and uh, whatever. I, I've been vindicated and these people that did this, no, that's not the way it works. The House will vote out articles of impeachment. That means that the House impeached you that you did these things. Uh, but the Senate did not want to remove you from office. It's not like this is not a trial. It's not like the House is the prosecutor you know, or the district attorney or whatever, and then then you have a trial, and then the trial is the juries that decide whether you are innocent or, you know, no. This is not that way. This is, here's what you did. And then it goes to the Senate to see, do you want to remove him from office? And right now, the, you know, uh, it looks like the Republicans will say he didn't do anything wrong. And uh, so uh, now when I switched over here to to get the uh, news, I'd actually switched on the radio for a little while well, my cell phone. And I actually heard a little bit of the uh, thing and it was a, a devastating part of when uh, Ambassador Solon, Sunlin, uh, testified. I just happened to tune in when he was being asked about phone calls and talking to Trump or whatever. Um, and then I came over here and I thought, and I saw this. It says, this is the handwritten statement Trump read from this afternoon, and I thought, oh my God, uh, this, you know, did CNN, CNN must have, this couldn't be real, CNN must have, uh, this, I mean, I thought, what well, can't be, they wouldn't do that, they wouldn't, uh, I thought, it can't be, so anyway, I watched this little segment of Trump coming out of the White House, and saying, you know, I want nothing, I want nothing, I I wanted no quid pro quo, uh, whatever. And then, so anyway, Trump was outside the, in front of the White House, and uh, it was bizarre, unbelievable. Trump came out, and he did have a clipboard, and, you know, he went through his, mentally unbalanced thing. You know, he said, I just turned off the, I've been watching the committee hearing and the ambassador uh, just proved that I'm totally innocent so they can just stop this thing right now. I'm totally innocent. I didn't do it. He proved it. His whole thing is a, you know, figure. And it's not, it's not what happened. The, the ambassador just laid it out along as others have today that that you couldn't be more guilty of it and then anyway at the end he flips over the thing and then I can say yes that's that's that's, that, that's his notes he must have trouble with his eyes make it makes it really big but I guess that's part of his thing he writes big I guess uh So, uh, I don't think the Northern, I didn't check this, I don't think the Northern Lights are going to come down as far as Texas. 
I've seen the Northern Lights a very few times, and uh, I don't want to live where it's cold. <laughs> uh, oops, sorry. I think I'm allergic to our cat, fi you know, finally. Um, wow, here's another thing. Mysterious comment will cause a rare unicorn meteor storm this week. Here's how to watch. Okay, I'll have to come back. I wonder if I could catch that on video. So many news stories. Uh, okay, there's, yeah. Anyway, I'll keep that there in case I need to bookmark it. Okay. Not even going to comment. Well, I am going to comment on Prince Andrew. You know, I don't know. I didn't even know who Prince Andrew was until this Epstein thing all came up. And I'm not even sure I knew then who Prince Andrew was. But I was listening to the BBC. In fact, I was listening on the British Broadcasting Corporation using the link, I, the app I have. Listening, I don't think I think I don't think it was a World Service. I think it was in one of another one of the other BBC channels, and the people who the BBC people who interviewed Prince Andrew uh, were talking and being they were being interviewed, and they said that a while back, uh, Prince Andrew's people, and I'm not I think I'm not sure if he was with you know, or if it was just his people. Uh, came to the BBC and said, you know, hey, we'd, uh, we'd like to, you know, for you to do an interview uh, with Prince Andrew. Uh, now, we would like to know what questions you're going to ask, and we want to know if you're going to, what questions you're going to ask, and if you're going to ask about such and such, you know, and we would like to be able to tell you that you can't, you know, whatever. And the BBC people said, uh, we don't tell you for anybody, you know. I mean, with respect, it was like, you know. Well, they wouldn't have been talking to the, they've been talking to the people, you know. You know, no, we, we do not, uh, you know, we do, don't tell you what we're going to ask ahead of time. We don't tell anybody what we're going to ask ahead of time and we don't uh you know if we're good if you're going to be a, having us do an interview we you know th you can't tell us no you can't discuss this or ask this or whatever so the people said okay goodbye you know no interview well now with this news and everything that's come out recently I guess Prince, I think Prince Andrew actually, with his people, I guess, came and said, okay, we'd like to do an interview. I think he still tried to, and then the BBC said, no, this is the way it has to be. I didn't uh, listen to the interview, but I guess he did. He did really, he didn't do well. It was bad. Uh, and it could have been, you know, it could have been, I mean, with all the handlers and people that, you know, that these kind of people have and that the royal family has, I guess he should have went to his mother, you know, the queen, and said, Mom, what should I say, or whatever. Of course, she would have said, you know, talk to the, your people, you know, these people. But anyway, I guess he messed it up. So now he is stepping back from public duties or whatever. Um, did I mention this? I can't remember. I think I did because I, I think I mentioned that I, I, I think I might go through it again. I made a video the other day about Trump's going to the hospital, a 45 minute video. Yeah, I did talk about this, didn't I? Well, the White House is, uh, come out with version two. 
Now, what I did, if you go to that video that I made the other day, there's a link to the, the White House changes the description. In the comments below, I put the link also to that. And I put, you know, okay, this is, this is version two. You can expect other versions because they just, they can't tell the truth about anything ever. And they lie about everything. So, by the way, of course, I'm turning monetization off on this. Not going to make any money on, on this. And no advertiser would want to advertise on uh, my video. And they especially don't would not want to uh, advertise any product on a uh, video that... Uh, Talks about the subject that I'm talking about, or the subjects that I'm talking about. I, you know, man, there's so many great stories, so many terrible stories. I, I can't make out, you know, I haven't clicked on this. A mother is disgusted after the daycare center employee wrote her a, wrote her son wrote to her saying that her son needed to be put on a diet. I don't know. I, uh, I don't know. I'm not going to click on it. But, you know, if the daycare center, which I'm sure, you know, the daycare center said, you know, take this note home to your mom. Uh, you know, you know, your son really should be on a diet or whatever. I don't think the mom should be you know what I'd like to see? I'd like to see a picture of... Okay, i got to click on this. Maybe there's a picture of the kid. Probably. Not. And maybe there's a picture of an AI. Yeah, maybe there's a picture of the the mom. But unless the daycare center sent home a note saying, your son is a fat pig. Uh, he won't fit in the chair. At the, you know, our little chair, I don't know, unless it's something like that, I think the, you know, hey, let's see. A Texas mom is disgusted because a dare, daycare employee wrote that her five-year-old son needed to be put on a diet. Okay, well, she doesn't appear to be a fat pig. Mom does it. To know that a, a grown up that knows how hard life is and how what was that? Be can say something like that, especially about a child, is they're sick. Wait a minute. To know that a, a grown up that knows how hard life is and how mean people can be can say something like that, especially about a child, is they're sick. There's something wrong. I think they showed the note. Oh, okay, so yeah. That employee's been fired. Put a lot of trust into this school to take care of him, and it just really hurt me. Okay. I think that the note was sent home when we saw the note. And then apparently, <laughs> the employee wrote on there, no, put him on a diet and go away, I guess. So, okay. That, yep, I mean, that's, uh, that is a, that's a no-no. Okay, the BBC Press. Okay, Prince Andrew needs, but now come on, they, you know, they have to have PR people or whatever.
Um, okay. Um, Chick fil A. No. Was it Ambassador Taylor? No. Was it uh, Deputy Secretary Kent? No. Was it Secretary? I hate that automatic starting stuff. <laughs> uh, Chick fil A is owned by, I guess, born again Christian people, and they're eating place is closed on Sundays. They have signs up at their eating place, uh, closed Sunday, and I forget exactly what they say, you know, closed Sunday because uh, that's the, the day of rest, you know, that when God created the world, he made it in six, I, I, you know, bullshit, okay? But that's fine. I worked uh, security when I, for a year when I was in, uh, I think that's the first time I ever ate there, in Miami. We lived right across from the Dadeland Mall, and uh, there was a canal or whatever, and we could walk bridge to go over. I had to, that year I worked there, I'd just leave the uh, apartment and go over this little bridge and into the mall to go to work. But they had a Chick-fil-A, and that's the first time, and I had their fish, I mean their uh, chicken sandwich, great. And my, uh, my son and my grandson, we were all living together, and uh, my son was usually working, and, but when I would end up buying get off work or something or other and buy a Chick-fil-A chicken for myself and that's what my grandson wanted and I would uh, take it. And then on Sundays or whatever, but I just never know, getting old or whatever, knew what day it was, I'd say, hey, I'm going to go over to the mall and get us some food. Do you want from Chick-fil-A? And my grandson would say yes. And I said, okay, I'll bring us back some fish sandwiches to go over and it'd be Sunday. And at the mall, at all malls and places like that, let's take malls. Well, let's just take that mall, but the, all the malls are, you know, when you have a shop there or a booth, one of those little booths set up in the aisles or whatever, the rules are, you know, these are the hours the mall is open. You have to open at that time every day and you have to close at that time every day. One of the things that security does is if you don't open your business, they, they write it up. You actually buy, maybe it's not the same at every mall, but you actually get fined by the mall for not opening or if you close early or something. And, uh, but anyway, Chick-fil-A, of course, was excused, you know. I mean, that, that was a deal. They It wasn't. You know, they were excused. They didn't have to be open on Sunday. But their their fish is really, or the fish, their chicken is really, really good sandwiches. And I think I had a few of their other products. I think the fries were also good, I believe. But, uh, and I think it's after I left. Well, I only worked for the mall about a year. But, well, I think it was after I left Miami. Uh, and I think it was after that that, you know, this, some of this stuff with gay marriage and that type of stuff came up and Chick-fil-A made a, you know, made a big deal of the fact that they, they thought that gay marriage was an abomination to God Almighty, our Lord and Savior, and blah, 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 blah. And they made a point that they were donating tons of money, especially out in California, to defeat gay marriage and any other proposal that had anything to do with helping people who are, and I can't, I don't know the initials, G, whatever, whatever, you know, whatever that is, they were spending all the money they could to fight against 
those people's rights. And of course, uh, some liberal, you know, groups or whatever, are like, okay, we're going to boycott Chick Fil A. And I thought, well, I don't, I don't live by a Chick Fil A, but if I did, I wouldn't be boycotting because they have good chicken. Uh, well, so anyway, for years now, uh, born again Christian people have made it known that hey. Chick-fil-A is our place. And, and uh, you know, God bless them and whatever. And, and the rest of you people who, you know, you're all going to burn in hell forever. Well, Chick-fil-A ha announced that they were no longer going to donate money to anti-gay, anti... anti, -gay, anti whatever the causes would be, anti-gay, anti-transsexual, anti-whatever the groups are, that they weren't going to donate money anymore to, you know, to fight that. And now a lot of born-again Christian people, man, they, you know, Chick-fil-A for closed on Sundays, you know, and still going to be closed on Sundays, and had propaganda on their website and all this kind of stuff, you know, and then donated tons of money, poured tons into California to fight against gay marriage and gay rights and all that kind of stuff. And now they say, okay, well, we're not going to do that anymore, you know. Uh, and now... The born-again Christian people have their pitchforks and their nooses and their tar and feathers and their torches and want to, uh, I mean, you can't, uh, I mean, one day they're, you know, the, the born-again Christian people ought to just be, hey, you know, here's a place that has good food and, and I'm a born-again Christian person and I don't think you should be, you know, doing stuff on the Sabbath, and they're not doing stuff on the Sabbath, so, okay, but no, you go against them. Oh, God, I forgot about that. It's November 20th. Before long, we have to hear <coughs> that, that Christmas is being attacked. Every year this time now, it started a few years ago, uh, because like some businesses will say happy holidays uh, because they have people who are not religious and they have people who are uh, uh, Jewish or Muslim or whatever and they don't celebrate Christmas and the business is trying to figure okay and instead of having a sign saying Merry Christmas and instead of having a sign saying Happy Hanukkah or uh, a sign saying uh, Happy Quanta or whatever, we just make signs up that have holiday, you know, motifs on them and whatever. And every year we have to go through right wing people who, the more they rave and rant, the more I'm concerned about you know, about them, about their morals, and whether you can trust them because they go on so much, you know, about it. Uh, I don't, I think, I think moral decent people don't have to rave and rant. They just live moral lives because it's the right thing to do, not because they're worried about being punished by eternal fires, but because because they're good, decent people. I have no idea what cancel culture, cancel. I have no idea what that is. I guess I can find out.
Chick-fil-A is clucking about ending donations to religious anti L okay here we are LGBTQ organizations. Okay. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transsexual, Q. I know okay. Somebody's having some fun, I think. The that must be the author here. Anderson Hope. And Allison Hope. Okay. Is this a male or female? I guess it doesn't matter. Anyway, I think somebody's having some fun with this. Yep. Okay. So I think they might be a talented writer though. Without deciding which organizations the cow-friendly fast food chain would now partner with, a company spokesman confirmed Monday that they would focus their foundation giving on education, homelessness, and hunger. Many in the LGBTQ community reacted to the news understandably with caution. If, quote, if Chick-fil-A is serious about their pledge to stop holding hands with divisive anti-LGBTQ activists, then further transparency is needed regarding their deep ties to organizations like Focus on the Family, which exist purely to harm LGBTQ family, people and families. Okay, well, enough of that. Oops. Oops. Okay, because it says here, okay. I am a lesbian with a long history of activism. I know for, okay, so I think that explains... I'm not going to say anything. I'm probably already, somehow I probably already got into trouble somehow. There's a mouse. Okay. Uh, again, this was $100. If you would just uh, do, made it easy for you. You know, make you can make a link using my one of my, uh, you know, on your desktop, like over here or down there. Or out, what, I don't know. But just do this, Jim Howard. Dot me, especially before you do your Christmas shopping, because that's going to take you to Amazon, and then if you decide to want to buy something, let's see. Computer. Now, if you go there and if you buy something, I will get a. I will get a commission. No, please go buy something terribly expensive. I bought these, by the way. USB speakers. I think I did a little review. I think I did a review of them for you. They're okay. I mean, they're not great speakers, but they're USB speakers, and it's easy to hook them up or whatever. Anyway. Thank you very much for watching.